Hello and welcome to Miniage Painting. Today, I have a special video for you all. This is going to be a two-part video where I am going to create a diorama using miniatures from this month's Creator Collaboration. That's a working title for the series that I hope to turn this into. Today, I have two miniatures from Stormborn Collectibles. Luna, Princess of Ash, and Nixara, Demon of the Night. If you, or anyone you know, would like to join me for this creator collaboration series, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into painting. We are going to focus this video on painting up Luna, Princess of Ash. And from now on, I'll just call her Luna. I'm going to start by painting her robes with Celestra Grey. This will be applied in two thin coats for nice, solid coverage. With that done, I'm going to take some Corax White and apply this over the cloak and the veil she has over her head and resting on her shoulders. Let's now take some Rakar Flesh and apply this to any exposed skin. We'll eventually highlight this up to a pale color, but Rakar Flesh is a great starting point for many different skin tones. Now, I'm going to take a small amount of Xandri Dust and apply this to her hair. This is to give the model a bit of color and to tie her into the scene that I'll be showing off a bit later. Switching back to Rakarth Flesh, I'm going to paint this onto the sword scabbard and the handle of her axe. In order to get the same results that I have, you need to switch back and forth. Now, let's take some Iron Hand Steel and paint this onto her axe, chest armor, shoulder plates, and wrist guards. To start the shading, I want to take some Corellia Green Shade and shade the robes, cloak, and veil. I will eventually go back and fix this, but we'll cross that bridge later. Either way, moving on from that, I took Drakenhof Nightshade and coated the metallics with this shade to give it a nice purple tint. I then took Reichland Flesh Shade to the skin, coating it in order to give it a nice baseline for the highlights that I will apply to it later. With that done, I took some Agrax Earthshade and applied this to the scabbard and handle of the axe. I then tried using more Corax White to bring back the white of the cloak, but eventually just painting over it and getting rid of the shade underneath it all. In the same instance, I also took some Celestra Grey and painted over the robes. Rather upset at the robes, I decided to work on the metallics. Taking some Stormhost Silver, I painted this onto the edges of all the armor panels as well as picking out the sculpted details displayed on the panels. Working on the flesh tone, I took some Pallid Witch Flesh as a first highlight and coated the skin with this color. I want her skin to look almost sickly pale as she is the Princess of Ash. Finally, I land on a shade-ish paint that will make the robes look good. I took some Nihilac Oxide and painted this into the folds of the cloak. I say shade-ish because this is a technical paint and will eventually dry into a darker grey color. I will then take this same paint and apply it to the folds of the cloak and veil. Her scabbard and axe handle will then be highlighted with a little bit of Carrick Stone. For the scabbard, I'm going to paint this color onto the raised details, and the handle will have this color applied in streaks, starting at the head and moving towards the base, giving it the effect of wood grain. I'll then take some Screaming Skull and apply this as an edge highlight to the scabbard and the handle of the axe. Now that I am satisfied with how the shade has turned out, I'm going to highlight the cloak and veil with some white scar. 
Moving down to the robes, I will again use some Ulthuan Grey as a highlight. These robes have taught me that even if something doesn't look quite right, you can always go back over it and keep trying until you get it right. This is a hobby for most of us, and it should be fun. We don't need to be perfect every single time. That said, I'm going to switch back to White Scar to highlight the tops of Luna's skin. This will really sell the pale, almost sickly alabaster flesh tone that I am going for. For a final mistake, I tried to take some Basilicanum Grey and do some eyeshadows, but in the end, this just didn't sit well with me. I ended up deciding to have her face white, as if there was a veil covering that as well. Now, however, let's get ready for a grand reveal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be posting the second part of this diorama featuring Mixara, Demon of the Night, very soon. This is the first time that I have done a two-part video, and I am very excited to share with you all the painting process for the second half of this diorama. Once again, this video was made in collaboration with Stormborn Collectibles. You can find a link to their My Mini Factory store in the description below. Until next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day.